द बुक चिल्ड्रंस टाइप्स बाय डगलस एम बोरलैंड ग्रुप फाइव हाइपर एक्टिव एंड हाइपर सेंसिटिव रेमेडीज सीना द नेक्स्ट ड्रग इज सीना विच मेक्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कंपेरिजन विद कैमोमिला मोस्ट पीपल स्टार्ट विद अ डोज ऑफ कैमोमिला एंड इफ इट डज नॉट गेट रिजल्ट दे गिव अ डोज ऑफ सीना दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी साइंटिफिक वे ऑफ प्रोसीडिंग इट इज बेटर टू नो क्लियरली वॉट द सीना पिक्चर इज लाइक एंड वेयर द डिफिकल्टीज अराइज आउट स्टैंडिंग मेंटल डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन द कैमोमिला चाइल्ड एंड द सीना चाइल्ड इज दैट इन सीना देयर इज डिग्री ऑफ ऑब्सटिनेसी नेवर मेट विद इन कैमोमिला द कैमोमिला चाइल्ड इज ऑलवेज अनस्टेबल द सीना चाइल्ड कैन बी एज ऑब्सटिनेट एज अ म्यूल दैट इज द मेन मेंटल डिस्टिंगशन In camomilla there is the irregular flushing of one cheek and paler of the other the whole face may be red but more likely there is irregular distribution in the sina child much more commonly there is circumscribed red patch on the cheeks and very often a noticeable pallor about the mouth and the nose the next distinguishing thing about them is that all the both dislike being handled and resent interference In camomilla it is much more mental resentment whereas the sina child definitely tender to touch there is very often the same description of the two that they will scream when handled but once the preliminary discomfort of handling is over the sina children are quite peaceful and they allow themselves to be carried about and it will quiet them down whereas in camomilla they want distraction all the time and are always wanting to be doing something new the sina child will want to be carried because the steady passive motion soothes him another point which distinguishes sina from camomilla sina children are very apt to vomit as are camomilla types but almost immediately after sina children have vomited they are hungry often the sina children will cry for more food immediately after meal and the sina child often suffers from nightmares and the night terrors if it he had a late meal another distinguishing factor between camomilla and sina is their diarrhea upsets both types have attacks of diarrhea the typical camomilla green stool is absent in sina the typical sina stool is very white watery stool a constant characteristic of sina child both in its digestive upsets and in general is its relief from pressure on the abdomen if it has colic it will turn over on to its tummy if carried about while it has colic it will turn over the nurse's arm so as to get pressure on its tummy if it is restless at night it turns over on to its abdomen sina children are always chilly and are sensitive to any drops of air these children are liable to irregular muscular twitchings particularly after any excitement and often in the muscles of the face in the slightly older children mental characteristic of the sina child is that they are frightfully touchy they have a complete inability to see a joke of any kind particularly it refers to themselves sina children all have a hyperesthesia of the head the head is sensitive to jarring and they have a hyperesthesia of the scalp to soothe down a sina child never stroke its hair they have an inordinate habit of yawning and keeping yawning as if they would dislocate their jaws and in some cases a definite history of acidosis links up with the tendency to yawn two other points which indicate the possibility of a child needing sina one is that with their intestinal upsets they become very restless and liable to get meningeal irritation with constant agitation of the head rubbing into the pillow even without definite meningitis they tend to develop a squint an internal squint the other point is that all these sina children appear to develop an irritation of the nose it is red itchy and they pick at it and it is quite apart from getting thread worms or anything of the kind a yawning child picking its nose always indicates the possibility of its needing sina